Hi and welcome to another episode of Pensacola Computers Presents. Today we're going to walk you through the steps of flashing a G tablet to the new TNT Lite 5. First thing we're going to do is we're going to NV flash this back to stock. To do this you hit the power button and the volume down key. Uh, you'll see that the screen goes black and if you've done it right you'll notice in Windows you will now see that it says eject APX this means that it has loaded the APX driver for the G tablet which is what you need in order to do the flash and be flashed back to original now there's quite a ways to number of ways to accomplish this next step um, you can do a direct flash to the 3588 which is the 124 update um, from Sonic. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually do the use the NV Flash uh, instructions on XDA developers on how to restore it to original. Um, and I've already got my directory uh, set up with everything that I need in it. If you want the details on that, go and read the thread uh, at XDA developers on how to use NV Flash to restore your G tablet to the original. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run the NV Flash bat. It only takes uh, about a minute or so to go through and send the files. Once the NV Flash finishes, you will see a prompt saying press enter to continue. And it disappears and you're done with that section. I said this is going to take you back to the stock, which is what you definitely need to do uh, before you try and attempt to flash it up to TNT Lite 5. The next step is to copy over the 3588 recovery uh, and we're going to rename that to update zip, bring that over and also put a recovery folder with the command in it so we can boot back into re After we've copied over the 3588 update zip file we're going to go ahead and boot back into recovery mode and it's going to apply that update. Once you've installed the 3588 version you should just double check and go into your about tablet and make sure the tap UI version is showing that it is in fact 3588. Then you can proceed with the next step of doing this which will be downloading and copying over the TNT Lite 5.0 update zip file and the recovery folder. Okay once we have copied over the TNT Lite 5.0 which will be an update zip file and the recovery folder we're going to copy that into the root of our G tablet we're going to go ahead and boot into recovery by pressing the power and the volume up button it is then going to notice hopefully that it, a recovery was pressed and we're going to see that it is then applying the update zip uh, so you know if you hit the home button you will see that the TNT light is installing and it will show you the progress. And when we get into recovery, we'll notice that it kind of looks uh, uh, very similar to Clockwork Mod. We'll go ahead and we're going to use the volume up and down to navigate. We're going to go to Wipe Data and Factory Reset. And it, unlike Clockwork Mod, this actually uses the power key to enter. Um, we're going to go down and we're going to choose to delete all user data. And this must be done in order to get the 5 to work. We'll see that it is in the process of deleting the data. Once the data wipe is complete, it will tell you the data wipe is complete and you'll then reboot the system. Clicking on the power key to select reboot now. And what do you know, the new UI has a honeycomb loading screen. Be patient if it takes a minute or two to boot. Once you boot, you'll see you've got your nice fresh UI and your nice fresh install. And we've got TNT Lite version 5.0. And of course, once this is done, uh, you're going to want to go ahead and set up your tablet the way that you want it, uh, adding your favorite apps and everything. Once your D-tablet is up and running, you will probably have to run the market fix. 
Uh, first time I tried to run the market, I just got a little spinning circle. Uh, but after running the market fix and rebooting, giving it a minute to stabilize, was able to get into the full Google Android market without a problem. Uh, this has been another episode of Pensacola Computers Presents, showing you how to install the latest TNT Lite 5.0. Thanks, and we'll see.